Hello, I am Gigi of GigiMadeIt.com. You know the knitter, the blogger, and the yarn hoe. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another edition of Confessions of a Yarn Hoe. So, this week, this week, as you saw in the title, I finished, and I finished it my way. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about what I'm working on currently, what my whip is, as well as grieving. So today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day. If I have any dads watching me, have a fabulous day. And you guys ready? Let's get So let's start with the obvious. I finished. I finished my Sabrina sweater and if you've been following the last couple of weeks you know that I have been working on this kit from We Are Knitters. You also know that We Are Knitters were kind enough to gift me with this kit. They reached out and said they wanted me to try one of their kits and to go online and pick out a kit. So I chose the Sabrina sweater. I'll be honest with you and say when I looked at this sweater really quickly in a picture, I thought it was a cardigan. I really thought it was a cardigan. But I am a lover of all things bobbled. I love the bobbles. So I said let me go for it. I'm sorry guys. These glasses are filthy. My bad. So, as you know, you've been following me, you know that the pattern calls for the sweater to be knit in pieces. You also know, because I've shared with you, that no. <laughs> no, so that is the first knitting it my way, right? So I finished it my way because I did both front and back panels at the same time. I have second everything syndrome. There is no way, none none <laughs> that I am going back to repeat the same thing. I think I shared with you guys that the reason that I get through stuff so quickly is because I'm excited to see the outcome. So if I have to go back and do the same thing all over again when I know the outcome, I'll finish it eventually, but it will take me forever. Does that make sense? So that was the first thing that I would say I finished it my way. Right. So I've already said to you guys, fairly simple pattern. It is listed as intermediate skill level simply because of the bobbles. If I got one question, I got this one in particular over and over and over again. How was the bobbles? How'd you do with the bobbles? Did you get tired of the bobbles? The bobbles, the bobbles, the bobbles. So clearly people have issues with making bobbles and I do not. I, um... Yes, there are quite a few bobbles. However, I can honestly say to you, at no point did I get tired of doing bobbles. It's actually the opposite. The bobbles kept me going. I think had I had to do just plain old stockinette or plain old garter stitch, I would have gotten bored faster than, you know, every couple of rows going into the bobbles. And, you, you know, once you do them that row, then you have... A reprieve for a while and then you go back. So again, I say all that to say, I'm, I sound like I'm rambling, but I say all that to say that if you know how to make a bobble and you're okay with the bobble, the bobble is the least of your concerns with this particular project. So I finished the two panels and was all set to cast on the sleeves. And as I had said to you guys, my intention was to cast on the sleeves at the same time as well. Right? I seamed up the shoulders and I, I put it on. So, 
my other thing of doing it my way is I immediately, when I just seamed up the shoulders and just put it on, it was just hanging open, I immediately knew that I wasn't, I didn't want the sleeves. I didn't want the sleeves. I think it looks cute as a sleeveless and this neckline, listen, I can give him a little shoulder, just a little shoulder, okay? I was in love and I loved it just without the sleeves. So that's the second thing when I say that I finished it my way. So I opted out of the sleeves. Now, if something changes down the line, which I doubt it will, I still have yarn left. I can still pick up and do the sleeves if I choose to. So I still have some of this glorious cotton. I have, I would say I have two balls because I got like two halves and one full. So I have two balls of the yarn left. So if I wanted to pick up, yeah, just want to make sure. So I need to make sure that you guys, I, I give you the show the action. So sleeveless was immediate. So that's two things. So first, I'm giving you three three reasons or three ways that I finished this project my way, right? One is I knit the panels two at a time. And I honestly, sincerely recommend if you are doing anything that you have to do two identical things. Try doing them at the same time. It is such a time saver. Two, you don't have to follow a pattern exactly as designed. Many folks modify their patterns. And my second thing of finishing this my way was I opted out of the sleeves. Third thing of finishing in my way. I've said this multiple times. You guys know that I'm blessed in the chest, right? So when I tried it on, the sides were not seamed up. And I kind of gathered it to see where it would be seamed is when I realized that it would be a little snug across. It would fit, but it would be more fitted. I, I guess that's the better word. It would be fitted. And one of the things that I have continuously said while making this is I love the drape of this pattern. I'm going to insert some pictures so you can see full length of the me wearing the sweater because I can't back up far enough for you guys to see. But I love the drape. So the second modification if you can see is I picked up some stitches along the side. I picked up stitches along the side and I inserted a panel just to give the twins a little bit more room. And I'll be honest, I probably only knit across like seven rows. So maybe I put an inch in there, inch and a half panel on either side that just gave me just a little bit more room for the girls because I prefer that it drape more than it fit. So not necessarily oversized, not necessarily fitted, but somewhere in the middle. That is the third way that I finished this my way. When I tell you I'm looking, I went stash diving. I have some cotton. I want to make another summer top. I am in love I know everybody is not a big fan of cotton, but baby, listen, I, listen, I am in heaven, in heaven, in heaven, in heaven. I know I say that about everything that I finish, but I am really happy. A couple of other things. Um, you'll see when I show you the picture. It's not really long. I have a habit of knitting things long because I think I'm hiding something. I don't know what I think I'm hiding. I am who I am and I can't hide. So, initially, my initial thought is I would like this longer. And after, I love it just the way it is. You know, it's a matter of me being comfortable with all that is GG. But I am so pleased. So, do I recommend this project, this pattern, this particular kit? I absolutely do. Whether you add the sleeves or not, it is a great piece to add to your wardrobes. And did we talk about this shoulder line? Did we talk about this neckline and the shoulder action? Did we talk about, did we talk about, it's going to be chapter 53 and I am finally, finally comfortable with the little shoulder. <laughs> so yes, if I had to give it a rating, what they say, five stars, we say five yarn balls, five skeins, 
this would be a five out of five skeins. I truly enjoyed this project and with my own little modifications, it made it perfect for me, which is what's important, right? So, like I said, I will insert some full length pictures so you can kind of see, you know, the full effect, but I am so very pleased, very pleased. Now I want to talk about what I'm currently working on and I have mentioned before about the hat, hat not hate campaign with Lion Brand and Brooklyn Boy Knits. So I wanted to cast out at least one hat. So that's what I'm doing. I went on Ravelry, I found a free pattern and I am making a hat. Ugh. I forget the name of it. I will put the details in the down bar. It's a free pattern. It's just simple two by two ribbing and I'm working on this. I dug in my stash and I had some Manos Maxima in this pretty aqua blue. So that's what I'm working on right now. My next project is going to be the Franca by Coco Knits. I'm just waiting for the yarn to come. Um, so that'll be next and that'll probably take me a little bit of time to complete that. So that's that. So simple hat. I should be finished this in no time flat. And that's what I'm working on. So what I'm currently working on and why I had to work on something right away works segues perfectly into the next thing that I want to talk about and as I said earlier today is Father's Day and if you've been with me for a while you'll know that both my father and my bonus dad are deceased so today is tough for me and not only that but today is also the anniversary of my mom and my dad my bonus dad's death they died the same day, five years apart. So mommy's been gone seven years. And my bonus dad has been gone two years. And it's tough. Right, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know a lot of my posts this week have been about grief. And you know how the memes say, somebody needs to hear this. And that part is that grieving is a very unique emotion no two people do it the same so if you have not experienced intimate death and you are not sure what to say to someone who is going through or they're grieving and you don't understand why they're still grieving or your question is well how long have they been gone don't do that to people don't do that. Today my post said, today my post said that the heart can't be physically broken, but having a broken heart can be as, if not more painful. So if you are like me and you struggle with the grief process, don't allow anyone to define what your grief should be like. You take care of you. Like self-care is a thing, right? It's a trending topic. Self-care this, self-care that, right? And, and that includes a lot of things. Not only being healthy, not only resting, you know, not only taking care of your mental space, but you got to take care of your heart too. So, my camera overheated and perfect timing because I was about to lose it and I didn't want to do that so this week is going to be short I just wanted to let you know that I finished and I finished it my way and I'm super proud of that and let you see what I was doing currently and just sharing where my heart space is today so that's it thank you for 
subscribing. And if you are new here, I am Gigi of GigiMadeIt.com. Hit that subscriber button so that you don't miss anything. I upload every Sunday. Everybody have a fabulous day. And if your dad is still here with you, enjoy him today. Let him know that he's loved.